What is going on everybody and welcome back to Mad Detailing. Today's video is going to be on this Camaro IROC Z and as you guys can tell this vehicle has been sitting for quite some time and the customer is now getting around to restoring this vehicle. So the first step in this restoration is going to be a full detail and it's going to be a good test to see exactly how much we can bring this vehicle back. If you guys are new to the channel make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our future content and also give this video a like because we put a lot of time and effort into these videos for you guys and we really appreciate all the support that you guys give us so with that being said we're going to go ahead and get right into this barn find detail Since this motor is going to be pulled out when I'm done doing the detail, the customer wanted me to deep clean the engine bay as good as I possibly can. So that's why you see me using as much degreaser and I'm going to spray everything down thoroughly and get it as clean as possible because they are going to pull out the engine, rebuild it and put it back in the vehicle. So this was a customer's request. So yeah, there's no need to comment down below saying that I'm ruining everything in the engine bay because I'm just doing simply what the customer asked. Also engine bays are designed to get wet. Maybe to not this extent, but a little bit of water is not going to ruin your engine. For the wheels, first step, I'm going to be using my pressure washer to blow off all the years of dirt and grime. Then I'll be using our extreme APC on the tires and fender wells, along with our mad acid to clean up these disgusting wheels. And I'll also use a array of brushes to make sure I get into every single crack and crevice of the tire and wheel.
for the paint, I'm using our Extreme APC, which is going to help lift up all this dirt and grime. And then I'm using the pressure washer to blast it all away. Now that the paint has been thoroughly rinsed off, I'll be using our Mad Detailing Super Blue Soap to give this vehicle a nice thick layer of foam. I believe this soap is one of the best soaps on the market. It is not only highly concentrated, it works extremely well at 
creating a nice lubrication on the entire paint, but also has amazing scent. If you guys would like to pick up any of our detailing products, be down in the description below. Also, our detailing brushes are selling out fast. So if you guys would like to pick up a set, the link will be down in the description along with the coupon code. Now that the vehicle has been thoroughly washed, it's time to move on to clay barring the paint. And for this, I'm using simply just clay and our slick coat as a clay lubricant. And honestly, clay is not clay. It's an actually a synthetic clay material that is used to remove contaminants that are deeply embedded inside your paint. And I highly recommend clay barring your paint if you're going to do any type of waxes or sealants or any type of paint correction. Once I get all the floor mats and all the big trash that is too big to be sucked up by the vacuum, I'm going to go ahead and give the vehicle a nice pre-vacuum before getting the carpet pulled out. And as you guys can tell, the door jams are still dirty and the reason for that is there's a lot of cracking in the door jams from the paint and there's some rust. So I'm going to go ahead and clean those with steam later on and that's why I didn't pressure wash them out. For the seats, I'm using the same method I always use, which is our Extreme APC followed by a drill brush. The only thing different is I'm not using any pressure. I'm honestly letting the products and tools work for me. And the reason for that is these seats are old and original, so I didn't want to risk damaging any of the materials. And honestly, I was really surprised at the end results on these seats because they came out to be almost factory condition.
And to dye the carpet, I'm using a carpet dye that you can buy at any auto parts store. And what I'm gonna do is apply one coat, go back, brush it out, and then apply a second coat. And this, for some reason on camera, it looks like a totally different color, but in person, this is almost like a identical match. So I'm not sure why the color looks like that, but it honestly looks amazing in person, which you'll see at the very end. For the paint, I'll be using my Rupes DA polisher and a microfiber cutting pad along with a compound and I'll be giving this vehicle a nice one step polish. I'm not going to do anything too crazy because I will be pulling the motor and I'm sure there will be people touching all over this car and I'm sure I'll see it sometime in the future. <laughs> 